Good morning, students. Today we are going to begin a new chapter in Hornbill. Chapter number two: We are not afraid to die if we can all be together. So this is written by Gordon Cook and Alan East. The lines from the textbook are: We are not afraid to die if we can all be together. So, dear students, first of all, we are going to have an introduction of the lesson written by Gordon Cook and Ellen East. The story is about a 37-year-old businessman who is the narrator of the story. He has a wife named Mary and two children, Jonathan, aged six, and Suzanne, aged seven. He and his wife both dream of a voice. Around the world in their ship, voice means here sea journey. Wave Walker, this is the name of the ship, which is a twenty-three meter long, thirty-ton wooden hull, just like that of the famous Captain James Cook. The whole family started sailing from Plymouth, England, on July nineteen seventy-six. The initial phase of the three-year long journey was from Africa to Cape Town. It was pleasant. While heading east, along with two newly hired crewmen, crewmen means here sailors. Strong waves hit them, and their survival became a question. The story tells us about how they fought each day and survived. till the end now let us have the detailed summary we are not afraid to die if we can all be together the narrator and his wife plan a voyage around the world just like famous captain james cook they have been preparing and perfecting their seafaring skills for the be- for the past 16 years they get a ship which is 23 meters long and weighs 30 tons wooden hulled named wave walker they test it in the rough weather for months in july 1976 they all start their journey from plymouth england they sail from frica to cape town which was quite a pleasant journey Before heading east, the narrator hired two crewmen, Larry Wiesel and Herb Seisler, to help them tackle one of the roughest sea, the Southern Indian Ocean. They encounter encounter means they come across or they just face. They encounter strong and alarming waves during the second day. By December twenty fifth, they all managed to reach. Thirty-five thousand kilometers east of Cape Town, the family somehow manages to surpass the bad weather and celebrates Christmas together. The weather changes for the worse, and on twin on January two, the big waves hit them. <coughs> They try to slow the ship down by dropping. storm jib and hit a heavy mooring rope in a loop across a stern but it doesn't help much they carry their life raft drill attach life lines dun life jackets and oil skins so these are the life saving devices during the sail later in the evening a vertical and huge wave strikes the ship and the narrator is thrown off from the ship he accepts his approaching death and starts losing consciousness when the ship is about to overturn a huge wave hit again and turns it right back he suffers injuries in rib ribs and mouth he grabs the guard rail and sails into the ship's main boom he instructs his wife mary to guard the wheel as he realizes that the ship has water in the lower parts his crewmen starts pumping out the water the narrator goes to his children's cabin and checks on them 
His daughter Sue informs him about a bump on her head, which he ignores because his major concern is to save the ship. The narrator does waterproofing on the gaping holes. This makes water to deviate on the right side. The hand pumps gets blocked due to debris and electric pump gets short circuited. However, he later finds a spare electric pump and connects it to drain the water. They all keep pumping the water all night long. Their mayday calls are not answered as they are in the remotest corner of the world. Here mayday means that uh, just like customer care. Sue on the other hand has now a sullen black eye and a deep cut in her arm. On being asked by her father about her injuries, she tells him she didn't want him to worry as he was trying to save them. After 15 hours, the situation gets under control. The narrator decides to work in rotation and rests. The water levels are controlled but the leaks were still there below the water line. The ship is in bad shape now. It is not in a condition to reach Australia and so they decide to reach the nearest island, Isle Amsterdam, a French scientific base as their supporting engines were also damaged. The chances of the ship to reach the destination are low. After pumping the water out continuously for 36 hours, they took a sigh of relief. Only a few centimeters of water was left to be pumped out of the boat. They hoisted the storm jib as the main mast was destroyed. They ate their first meal in two days, some corned beef and crackers. The weather soon started changing and again the black clouds took over the morning took over by the morning of January 5th, his son Jonathan told him that he didn't fear death as long as they were all together. This filled him with determination to fight the sea. The struggle continued and the narrator tried his best to protect the weakened starboard side. The same evening, the narrator and his wife sat together holding hands thinking that their end was near. His children continuously supported him which gave him moral support to keep going. The wave walker sailed uh, through the storm and made it. The narrator then calculated their exact position by working on the wind speed. While he was brainstorming, she gave him a card that she had made expressing her love and gratitude towards the family. He instructed Larry to steer the course to 185 degrees. He said that if they were lucky, they could hope to find an island by 5th pm. He dozed off, means he slept slightly, and suddenly got up around uh, 6 pm. He believed that they didn't make it and was disappointed. His son came and informed him about how they reached the Isle Amsterdam Island and he called him best daddy and best captain. They reached the island with little struggle and with the help of inhabitants. Inhabitants means the dwellers. The whole team, the family and two crew members never stopped trying. Their struggle and hard work finally saved them. So this is the summary dear students and further lesson and explanations will be uh, done in the next lectures. Thank you students.